ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير هدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار الله سبحانه وتعالى says in his glorious book the Quran ان الدين عند الله الاسلام Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the deen and the way of life with him is Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another verse, وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي غَيْرَ إِسْلَامَ دِينًا فَلَنْ يَقَبَلَ مِنْهُ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ And whoever desires a religion, a way of life other than Islam, that it will not be accepted يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And in the end, he will be from the losers. Our ulama, our scholars, past and present, have mentioned there are six or five things that this deen of Islam came to protect. The entire deen came to protect, some say five, some say six. These things, these five things that deen came to protect. From those things that the deen itself came to protect, it's Islam itself. So the deen of Islam, was revealed and it's it's been revealed in the Islam how do we protect Islam from harm and from corruption and from shirk and from bid'ah and from all of these things that have crept into Islam that has no basis the likes of feminism the likes of liberalism all of these things have crept into Islam believe it or not and Islam came to protect it and so we want to talk about this generally and then more specifically. How do we protect this most treasured thing that we have as Muslims, Islam? It is the most valuable thing that we, can, that, that we have possessed, that we can ever possess, is Islam. And so, if we want to protect this deen, have the deen, first and foremost, we have to learn. We have to learn the deen. Because if we're not learning the deen, how are we going to know what the deen is? We can't know the deen except that we're learning. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it wajib upon us to learn about Islam so that we can know our deen. After knowing our deen, we have been commanded to call to it. Before calling to it, working by it. We have to make sure when we learn about Islam that we're practicing it. As the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to seek refuge in Allah from knowledge that doesn't benefit. Allahu min yaudhu bika min ilm la yanfa. He used to seek refuge in Allah from knowledge that doesn't benefit. What is the knowledge that doesn't benefit? The knowledge that we have gained, but we don't practice it. And then, after we learn and then we're practicing, we're also calling to this deen, because if we're not calling, as it is said, if we don't call to Islam. The little that we know, or the, the or much that we know, we call to Islam. If we're not calling, they're calling us. It's only two ways. Either we're going to call them or they're going to call us. And so, this deen is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased for us as a way of life. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious book, Al yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum. Today, I have completed your religion or your way of life for you. 
وَأَتْمَمْتُمْ وَأَتْمَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَتِي And I have bestowed my bounty upon you, Islam. Islam is a bounty upon us. وَرَدِيتُ لَكُمْ الْإِسْلَامِ مَدِينَ And I'm pleased, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, I am pleased for you. I am pleased for the humans as a way of life, Islam. As there is no other way. So Islam is a bounty upon the Muslims. And we are going to have this deen or we are going to be an obstacle in the way of, of this deen. We only have two sides. Are we going to help the deen of Islam? Or are we going to be contrary to it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, in tansur Allah yansurkum, wa yathabbit aqadamakum, O you who believe. Help Allah. And Allah is going to help your condition. We want the help of Allah, we have to help this deen. And we help this deen in whatever capacity we're able to help this deen. But we have to help the deen if we want the help of Allah. If you help Allah, Allah is going to help you. And by the way, we can help Allah. This is Allah's deen. How can we help Allah? We can help Allah by spreading this deen of Islam. By first and foremost learning Islam, then practicing it, and then calling the people to Islam. This Islam is a bounty upon us. And when the people came to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, acting as if, you know, we're doing a favor to you by accepting Islam. What did Allah say? He says, aslam." They consider their Islam a favor to you. The people are considering Islam a favor to you. Islam. Say to them, don't think your Islam is a favor to you. Rather, but Allah alaykum, but Allah has bestowed His bounty upon you by giving you Islam. We are not doing a favor because we are Muslims and we believe in Allah and we're worshiping Allah. We're not doing a favor to Allah. Allah has done us a favor by guiding us to Islam. So don't think that we're Muslims because we can't help Allah except by spreading this deen, by worshiping Allah, by learning this deen, by practicing the deen, and to call other people to practice this deen. This is how we're going to help Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how do we protect this deen? How do we protect this deen from corruption and from harm and from foreign ideologies? How do we do this? One of the ways is we have to know what a shirk is. We have to stay away from committing shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the various form of shirk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in the Allah la yaghfiru an yushurika bi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika lima yasha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, indeed Allah would not accept that you make shirk with Him, but He would accept that, but He would forgive less than that. Allah is not going to forgive if you commit shirk with Him. And shirk has different ways of committing shirk. Making dua to other than Allah is shirk. Wearing something as a form of protection and putting your trust in that thing is shirk. Swearing by other than Allah.